So after the pre-flight test, you need to set the barrow. Um, it will be flat this, so we're Back 1013 here. Bravo whiskey turning so the small knob does, small knob has been done, does intense, and that's it. Uh, that'll be, that's all we need to do. And now that it'll default to altitude mode, we're going to close to 2500 here, so I'll set that up ready for our uh, our departure. That's all we need to do to turn up. Okay, we're going to do the pre-flight check of the autopilot now. So I'm going to send my heading bug to uh, 181, that's fine. First I'll turn the autopilot on. By default, it goes into RRL mode, we have wing leveller, and vertical speed mode, we're not climbing. Need to heading mode. Now I can turn my heading bug, the yoke should move left, and turn my heading bug to the right, the yoke should move to the right. Now to check the trim and the vertical speed, I'm going to change my foot per minute to something higher than what I am. I'm climbing at 300 feet per minute. And the trim wheel should start to move. And after five seconds, we should hear an audio trim in motion. There it is. And now trim in motion. Autopilot disconnect. Autopilot's disconnected, and that's the pre-flight check completed. Traffic Okay, so we'll start again uh, here. I'm going to put the the heading mode on. So at the moment, I want to follow uh, this heading. I'm at 2,400 feet. I'm going to push the autopilot button, it goes into ROL mode, which is wing leveller. My heading bug centred, see my heading bug on 106, now I hit the heading mode. I'm now uh, in heading mode. So as I move the bug, you'll notice the aircraft will bank. It's all right, depending on uh, which way I turn the bug. And the further that the bug is away, the more the aircraft will bank. We'll go into, uh, into a rate one turn here, rate one by this magenta line. And this is my GPS track, so we may as well come out, level out on 128. Now the only thing I haven't done is set the altitude up. So we've got 2,400 feet in the uh, unit here. Arm that, I need to arm the altitude. And then I need to tell the aircraft to use vertical speed mode. So alt, vertical speed. Around 200 feet a minute approximately. So that will go away and you can see that the alt is armed. My uh, descent is up at 200 feet per minute, and once it gets within 20 feet or so, it'll capture it, goes away, and now I'm in altitude mode and heading mode. Ask uh, Alpha Victor, just leaving control now, space now. Control services terminal. Obviously, flying in heading mode There's no is uh, is one option. Uh, I want this to capture my uh, my navigation mode, so I'm going to uh, move over to nav mode. So I can see that my uh, my nav is off to the uh, to the right here. All I need to do is push nav. Is in the G1000, which we won't go into here. Um, I am currently on GPS course. The CDI is on GPS course, so now my um, my nav is intercepted, and you can see that nav has gone. There's no nav arm. Right. So currently we're uh, we're cruising here at uh, 2,400. Well, we've captured 2,400 on the autopilot, but um, I'm now through the uh, controlled airspace step, so I can go up to. 4,500. So the first thing I'll do is put my uh, heading bug here. We'll go to 4,400 just to stay below it. Uh, my altitude bug, sorry. I'm currently in heading mode. Um, I'm not uh, following the GPS track at the moment. All I need to do now is I'm in heading mode with altitude hold enabled, so it's tracking the altitude for me already. So all I need to do is using the large knob and the small knob turn to uh, get 1,400 on, on here. So I do that, 4,400. You can see that the alt arm feature comes up, but we're not climbing or descending. We've got no speed. I need to tell the aircraft what speed I want to climb at. This is where we uh, we push the alt button and we can change alt to vertical speed and now I enter the vertical speed that I want to go up. I want to go up at 500 feet per minute. Put in a little bit of power and it goes back to uh, 4400. The alt arm comes up and that means that the capture of the altitude is armed and we get within 20 feet. It'll capture that and cancel the vertical speed mode and we'll climb out, uh, uh, we'll level off at 4,400 feet. Here's the Echo Juliet, lining up on way 1,000 feet to run. Was the autopilot giving me a beep for 1,000 feet to, uh, to my closest altitude? That's how this one is set up. So I'm at 3,500 climbing. I'm still climbing at 500 feet a minute. 
Controlled airspace last. Just updated 4,000 feet. Controlled identification is terminated. Fixed 4,400. We'll level off, so we should see the, old, the aircraft uh, capture that altitude in a moment. We're coming up now. 1,900, 3,800. Captured that. And now we're in alt hold mode. And heading mode. So the next step is I'm going to set up a uh, an intercept of my navigation track. So I'm just going to do a direct two on the, on the GPS here. Direct two, my next waypoint. I can see that's off to the left. If I hit nav, nav arm, it's obviously within tolerance, so it's captured it directly, and we initiate a uh, left hand turn. Capture that uh, navigation uh, track from our GPS. Okay, we're currently uh, cruising at 4,000 feet. We've just crossed the bay in, uh, in Port Phillip Bay here. So we're going to descend down uh, to a, a different level. So we need to set a descent up in the autopilot. We're currently altitude captured mode and nav captured mode. All we need to do is turn our, uh, our uh, altitude bug here down to uh, 2,000 to 3,000 feet, where we want to go down to. Alt arm has come up. Now I just need to uh, change to vertical speed mode, give ourselves a nice descent. We'll cruise down at uh, 300 feet per minute. Alt is armed, goes back to our 3,000 feet, and uh, we have a nice descent here now at uh, 300 feet per minute. We're still captured with the navigation, so our uh, directional stability will still be there, or direction uh, heading will still be maintained while we have the descent. And we'll just uh, reduce the power a little bit. Our mixture back up. And that's all. Okay, we just got a new barometric uh, pressure here, so I'm going to change that... Uh, on my G1000, 1030, change it on our uh, El Paco oximeter and also on the CAP 140. If I hit him barrow, the small knob down, one barrow, that's it. My altitude hold won't change, um, uh, the, the aircraft will recapture that altitude of the new barrow setting. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to cancel the autopilot using my, uh, my thumb wheel. Autopilot's cancelled. We're demo going to demonstrate intercepting a climb or a descent. I'm, uh, I'm flying manually, so I'm going to go into a into a descent. Down at uh, a few hundred feet per minute here. Okay, so we've got a beep there alerting us that we've gone away from our predetermined altitude 140. Even though it's not enabled, we still get that beep. Uh, so that was telling us we're, we're left or we're away 200 feet from our assigned altitude or programmed altitude. I'm just going to level off here at uh, 2,600. I want to get back to 3,000, but I'm going to uh, initiate the climb manually and then enable, enable the autopilot while I'm in the climb see how the, um, the altitude uh, pre-selector automatically works out my vertical speed. We've got some parachutes in front of us, so we'll uh, turn away from them. I've got to climb here at uh, oh, 500 feet a minute. What I'm going to do is enable the autopilot. Vertical speed, you can see, is already captured directly at 300 feet a minute, which was my climb. Which means I'm going to go back to heading mode. My heading mode's enabled. Vertical speed mode is captured at 300 feet a minute. My climb's continuing. However, it won't stop when I get to 3,000 feet. November, Tango X-ray is maintaining 3,000 intentions at uh, Sierra Alpha Sector Entry North. So the climb uh, is still continuing. 200 feet per minute. If I want to change that, just change the vertical speed. 600 feet per minute, and you'll see the nose pitches up, and our vertical speed here indicates up to 600. We'll come back down. And we're back down. So, 
this is just using the vertical speed mode. There's no altitude pre-select arm, so therefore it will just control the pitch of the aircraft whilst in heading mode um, for whatever descent rate that I'm after. So currently we're going back down at 350 feet per minute. If I want it to capture the altitude, again, same process as before, we set up a vertical speed that we're after, and I need to hit arm. Altitude arm will come up. See as we progress up, 1,900 feet, we're coming up at a few hundred feet per minute. Any time you want to see that, you can just uh, change 200 feet or 200 feet. Melbourne Centre, taking a mic request parachute up. Coming up, we're almost within 20 feet, and we can see our altitude has been captured, and our heading mode has been held. I want to go back to my navigation track. I'm going to uh, push the nav button. And you can nav arm has come up. Because I'm at full scale reflection. So in this case, I need to use the heading bug to perform a manual intercept of my navigation track. Still in heading mode. Can you state your intentions after the low level park speed, please? Still in heading mode, but the nav mode is armed. Altitude is still captured. If I set up an intercept, I'm able to go a uh, 5 degree intercept roughly of this track. And you'll notice that my track is starting to come in. Now my CDI has, uh, has, has come alive. And that's within one dot of reflection. Deflection. see that the nav mode will change from heading mode to nav. So the CDI is coming in now. And the Delta Street dot. And there we go. The nav mode has gone, the heading mode has gone away. The nav has been captured. And we're uh, now turning onto our navigation track. The G1000. Another example of initiating a descent. Currently in heading captured mode, altitude mode. I want to go down to 2,000 feet, so using the uh, large ring, 2,000. Oh, arm has come up automatically. Beeping to say that I'm within 1,000 feet of that, because I'm currently at 2,000 uh, feet. I would have set up a, uh, by hitting alt, vertical speed mode. We'll set a small vertical speed, vertical descent up to 300 feet per minute. 100 feet per minute descent down to 2,000. traffic, runway Lima Golf, turning base for 2-2 for a low level pass, followed by departure to Marabas.